I've been getting really into 3D renders this year, way more than I have previously, and Clint has been doing a bunch of render challenges that I've unfortunately been missing out on. Thousands of people have been participating, submitting their own renders, and Clint has strung them all together into some really epic montages. <sighs> the FOMO is real, especially this one, which is pretty cool. The world's largest digital Rube Goldberg machine. That sounds way up my alley, come on. I'm gonna try to make a zombie killing machine. So I've enlisted the help of VFX artist Jordan Allen to simulate the zombie horde. And then we're gonna squish him with this. <laughs> Only problem is I've still got my surgery arm slowing me down a little bit. And next week we begin shooting Sin of a Dungeon and that's all day, every day. So I have to get it done this week or I won't be able to submit it. Look who it is. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Jeez. Is that a breeder? <laughs> we, uh, we, we saved your spot for you just like you left it. Just like I left it? Just huh? like you left it. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Yes, you too, man. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, Clint, so what have you been up to since you left other than losing that smash? <laughs> How am I supposed to just breeze by that part? <laughs> Oh, Ren's up in here? When I was live streaming, he challenged me in Smash Bros. like over chat. And I'm like, dude, you, you won't come over. Dude, come over here right now. I dare you. Oh, he's gonna do it too. He came over to my house live on stream and like freaking challenged me in Smash Bros. People were jumping in. Like, I thought this was a render challenge. Like, what is this Smash Bros? What are you doing? Done. Game. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> GG's. Dude, that was great. What's up with these render challenges? You've done two before. Mm -hmm. This is now the third render challenge. The first two were more cinematic challenges when the montages came together, you know, match cutting between all these people through all these different universes. But this challenge in particular is a way to create a large, seamless Rube Goldberg contraption with Whoa. individual artists. And it's gonna be pieced together to form the largest Rube Goldberg contraption on the internet. Basically what I'm providing you is a box with a camera movement, and you have to create your contraption within that box that guides this ball from point A to point B. There's a number of technical limitations that need to be met in order for your puzzle piece, your render, to fit into the larger picture, such as when the ball drops in, when the ball exits the scene. So I'm curious, what do, what do you guys like, do you guys have an idea for what you wanna do? I have a video pulled up okay. that was kind of a big inspiration for this idea. The video I'm talking about uh, have you heard of it? It's called Lord of the Rings. It's specifically, <laughs> it was the second video, uh, like at the Battle of Hell of Hyrule. Hell of Hyrule. So this is kind of generally the inspiration, but instead of horses, it's a ball. Yes. And instead of orcs, it's the entire corridor crew. That's great. That's great. That's the general idea, and Jordan has been basically R&Ding the actual pipeline to yeah. create this, uh, which involves crowd simulations and ragdoll physics. And Cinema 4D isn't particularly tailored for either of those. For sure. However, Houdini is. Jordan knows Houdini. Are you at Neo level? On I'm no way. I okay. couldn't claim Neo. Okay, so you're like a like cipher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking at the pills debating. <laughs> How much can you help us cheat now? Cheat? Yeah, yeah. I, w I want you to give us preferential treatment. I want to win that grand prize. Give I'm, me the give prize! The, I'm not it. whispering secrets into your ear the whole time you're dude, doing your dude, render. Dude, put a good word in. <laughs> a good word? Yep. You doing this, there's no way you're going to win this thing. <laughs> Disqualified immediately. I don't know! <laughs> so, okay. Obviously, we're not going to be up for any prizes here. But my goal is to get into that top 100. We'll see. You we'll know? see. I mean, oh. if our thing is good, it'd be really awkward if you didn't, because then, <laughs> because then I'd have to, you'd have to be like, dude, like you wouldn't directly say this to me, but you'd be thinking like, kind of sucks you didn't put me in the top 100. You know, we'll have to see. That's gonna, that's up to you. You gotta make it good enough. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so I tell you guys got all that. Um, good luck, and uh, hopefully, yeah, makes top 100, or else uh, friendship's gonna get super awkward. I have zero doubt in my mind. I actually don't believe what I'm saying at all. We actually have to earn this. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Where are you at with this? You yeah. know, I gotta oh, say, I'm kind of nervous to push play here. I think we're in a good oh! spot. Yeah, we're we're getting good contact. Like they're falling <laughs> over. They're falling off the ledges like we want them to. So these guys, if a person hits another person, that person's not gonna react to that person hitting them. Exactly, but I think we can do that. 
I think we can do that. One step at a time. I gotta finish blocking out what is gonna go within this cube and kind of get timing blocked out as well, like kind of get the, the ramp set up, kind of get the ball simulated into place, and that is what we'll kind of bring into Houdini to actually do the rest of the crowd sims. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I need you to basically be the most pro-level crowd simulation expert you can possibly be with the time I'm giving you. And how much time are you giving me? Uh, till the end of the day. Fantastic. Perfect, all right. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're dialing in on the idea. There's no way, there's no way this video is not the top 100. What I'm trying to do is basically clear out all the stuff here so that I can 3D scan it using my phone. This room is going to be the top floor of the dynamic machine. I'm using the new newest iPhone 12. It has a built-in LiDAR scanner, so you can actually get like real life, decent quality 3D scans. These are real life textures. I wanna capture them. All of the fine detail and whatnot. Why try to spend a whole bunch of time trying to recreate this detail when I can just scan it and capture that detail and display it for all of you? That's pretty sweet. It's like you actually see a bit of a, a mesh of this room that we're standing in here. The fact that I can just literally just take a break from my computer, come in here, and turn this room into a 3D model. It's pretty cool what modern phone technology can do. The scene where I destroyed Clint at Smash Bros, that is going to be playing on the TV. <laughs> I think, I think we're onto something. I think this is gonna be sweet. Oh boy, we're getting down to the wire here. It's now Friday, and this is the day we're supposed to be done with this. We are actually legitimately preserving our 3D models for the next eon. Last year, we 3D scanned ourselves and preserved our essences. So we got six different character models, each with, I think, five or six animations, all randomized. So you've got 36 different possibilities for our zombie corridor crew. Wow. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to basically texture and light this whole scene. I see a lot of wondrous things happening. What I want to hopefully see is wonder turned into product by the end of the day. Next week we're shooting Son of a Dungeon. The most Ren's going to be able to do is show up here with his muscle suit and his one free hand and like maybe like <laughs> click the mouse really a couple up. times and we're gonna like, Rand, get back down here! This is this is the part where I'm like, cool stuff guys, no pressure, but there's a lot of pressure. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure you have to get the top 100, but you also need to get done today. <laughs> there's a lot of work ahead of us, so yeah, let's get to it. So we have a final crowd simulation that has been packaged up and exported so that I can bring it into Cinema 4D. I've already tested it, it works. So Jordan's responsibility through this whole process is pretty much over now. He's busy this week doing other things. And so now it's on me to be able to finish this project. The problem is that Son of a Dungeon shooting is this week. This is my sole responsibility for the entire week. This, this week has been six months in the making. And so this obviously has to take priority because we've got a whole crew here, we've got D in. I don't know how you're going to do it or what you're going to do, but watch it all go down in flames, Nick. What happens if you don't make top 100? If I don't make top 100, I, I have to write Clint out of my will. Do you think you can maybe bribe him? Dude, I tried already, man. Like, he's just not having it. My, my thing has to be top 100 quality to be top 100. I mean, just put, let's put this into context. There's gonna be like 3,000 top VFX artists submitting their work. People who are like professionals. I'm just saying, like, you know, it might not be that great compared to them. <laughs> Dude, is, is that the top Clint. 100 committee? Hey, Clint. <laughs> hey, um, so, Chances of Ren uh, actually being in the top 100 of your video, I'd say are pretty low because I don't think he has any time to work on it at all this week. Hold on, I need to talk with him too. Okay. Clint, like, I, I get it, he's your friend, but like, if his runner's not that great, you know, probably shouldn't put him in the, the top 100. Totally Sam! Great. Sam! See ya! Clint! <laughs> Bye! Clint! <laughs> <laughs> My first plan of attack is to understand what this virtual production is going to mean for me as an actor. I will be in costume and ready to go film at a moment's notice. The thing about film shoots, in my experience, is a whole lot of hurry up and wait. I can sit down here at the computer, but instead of waiting, I'll be working. Rolling. And... Action. Hey, that's not bad. That looks cinematic. I finally have a break. 
Instead of finishing this video, I wanted to tell you about ExpressVPN. I don't agree with a lot of Ren's choices today, but I think one thing that we both can agree on is that ExpressVPN can give you better internet security and unblock content all over the world. Am I right? You are right. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is do some kind of warm-up exercise, and I mean physical. You can do squats, okay? Okay, is that as low as you can go? As low as badgers go. You feeling it? No. Feeling the blood going through your system, no. man? All right, so what, what's the first thing people gotta know about ExpressVPN, Ren? No. It can hide you from the world. Kind of. Whenever you're on unencrypted Wi-Fi, your information is out there and vulnerable. But with ExpressVPN, all of your information will be 100% encrypted. In fact, specifically, your internet service provider will not be able to see the websites you visit and therefore won't be able to sell your information to third parties. The point is, you can unblock content all over the world, Ren. What's your favorite show right now? NBA Finals. Great, and how did you watch the NBA Finals? By finding a random stream online and using ExpressVPN to make it think that I was in the UK. Hey, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> the kid's a natural, see what I mean? You know what I do when I'm here? I, I use it to watch MLB because when I'm in Texas, there's certain teams that I can't watch. And then when I'm here, there's certain teams that I can't watch. So I just do a little flip flop on them and boom. And it's super easy. You can use it on any device, your phone, your tablet, your computer, your smart TV, and you can do NBA Finals. You can do Netflix. You guys probably don't know, but there's a bunch of Oscar winning films on other countries' Netflix. And, and you can watch them all just by using ExpressVPN. Find out how you can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description. E X P R E S S V P N dot com slash Corridor Crew. Hey, he got one part. And then you will get your three months of ExpressVPN for free. All right, so anyways, good luck with the uh, render. I hope you're in that top 100 like you've been hoping for. No guarantees, though. Uh-huh, yeah. See you later. Uh, I'm so lost right now. You have a lot of work to do. I do. Yes, it's done. Boy, I have to literally pull my hand to use the mouse. I mean... <laughs> kind of. Uh, hey, hey, Thank don't, don't touch my food stamps. Oh. <laughs> cool, I got it. I got it, I got it. Don't touch my mats! You're injured, Ren. You've got two broken bones. Dude, just, I'll take care of the mats, okay? Okay. Cool. You go do what you gotta do. All right, it's the uh, bow and or it's the crossbow shot. Dang, oh. I literally did not even have enough time to log into Parsec. <laughs> Are you telling me that you haven't had enough time to? You're good. I've known Ren for ten years. I've known that man for ten years. I don't know how he thinks that he's gonna do, be able to do all this in the same day. I don't. I love that he's enthusiastic about both of these things. I mean, corridor shoot, friendship with Clint, right? It's like two great things, but one of them's gonna have to go. <laughs> Show me what you got. Show, show me. <laughs> I, I, uh, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate this monitor. Mm. Oh, so this is what I will be seeing. Boom! Oh, done. done. That's it. Done. Now, now get back over there. Oh, over here, over here. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night, so I am cranky. Ren, this is what, this is what, this is what's at stake right now. I cannot confirm that you're gonna make the top 100 montage today, but I can confirm that you will make the all renders montage if and only if you follow the rules. All right, I'm gonna hit play and then that will be your cue to come check it out. You ready? Come yes, I'm gonna see it. it. And Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait. 
Who? It's Ness versus versus Bowser. What did you do? That's so funny. <laughs> Dude, oh. this is so cool. <laughs> this is sick. First off, nice photo scan. I see you got a nice photo scan of the room up there. It's lit perfectly. I love the way you did that. And then I love the fact that there's two worlds to this. You have like normal life, and then it's just like Mordor down here. <laughs> it's so cool. This is my subconscious. Yeah. This is my subconscious, okay? And my loss triggered a, 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 just a clear destruction of my psyche and me as a person. And it's destroying all of me, right? That was, that was exactly what we were going so for. Are you for real? Yeah. Said that we talked about it from the beginning. That was the plan. No way. <laughs> can you make us a hard commitment right now for top five? It's, it's, we need it right now. Here, here's yeah. what I can yeah. tell you. Here's what I can tell you. So far, out of all of the works in progress I have seen, I have not seen any finals, this is one of the best ones. Red, give it to me. Yes. Come on, baby. <laughs> yes. This is awesome. This is really well done. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, and also our friendship saves. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm writing Ren a letter that he can't open until the winners are chosen. And hopefully it will, it will ease his soul. Ren? Yes, my lord? Ren? Mm hmm And Jordan. This letter here. <laughs> this letter here is for you, and you can't open it until the winners have been chosen. <laughs> so, do I have your word not to open this until the winners are chosen? You do. I have one. Aye. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Hopefully, that'll take care of things. Make it super. Do I? I thought. I what the heck is that after? You and Jordan's render is amazing, and deep down in my heart, you are number one. You know what? That means a lot. Thanks, Clint. Yeah. Absolutely, guys. Are we number one on the contest, though? L like, do we actually <laughs> get the number one spot? Like, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But no joke, though, this render challenge is a really fun one, and I cannot wait to see all of the final entries. August 1st is the deadline. There's still time for you guys to participate, make something cool, make a contraption. It's gonna be amazing, I can't wait. Come on over to youtube.com slash check it out, and let's make some fun art together. <laughs>